Hi everybody, uh, my name is Steve Hardesty and uh, what I'm trying to do here today is conduct a test with my DSLR, my Nikon D5100 DSLR and my Tascam Linear PCM recorder. It's a DR60D. It's a great little recorder, I really love it. But uh, just today I heard about a problem that people have were experiencing when hooking it to their DSLR and recording into it and then running the signal into their DSLR into the mic input which there's a special place on the task cam that's called camera out which is just for that it's a mini to mini plug that goes into your camera so what they say is happening is that the audio that's being injected into the camera has some excessive noise in it now they say that when you take the two units apart because it's mounted underneath the DSLR with a regular, it's the way the task cam is made to mount under the DSLR. When you take the units apart, it's not happening. My cat just entered the room, so you're going to hear her talk a little bit once in a while. Yeah. Tigger's my assistant uh, engineer. Anyway, um, so what I'm attempting to do to see if this problem exists with my DSLR, which is an Icon D5100, and the task cam. The reason I haven't noticed whether it works or not is because I usually use a couple external mics, one for real up close miking and then one for ambient noise. So I basically don't use the audio from the DSLR at all except for syncing up purposes. And uh, so I, I need to know if this problem exists because there may come a time that I want to mix the camera audio along with the task cams audio and uh, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do so the audio that you're listening to right now is just the Nikon D5100 audio the sensitivity of the mic is set on two which is basically medium it has one two and three settings and I keep it on two almost all the time and my cat wants to be up in my lap okay so but the the, the task cam is attached underneath it it is turned off it has a Rode NTG3 microphone hooked into it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple tests. I'm going to keep this file running and try a couple things. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn on the Tascam uh, DR60D. And it should be running and it's going to ask me if I want the phantom power so I need to set that. Okay, now it is running. Uh, again, the only audio that you're hearing right now is just from the Nikon D5100, but the task cam below it is running. So, see, I don't know if that is going to induce any, like, ground loop noise or anything like that. Probably not. I don't really expect it to. So, that's the audio you're listening to now, and I'll probably go out of focus here. I don't have it on automatic focus, so uh, forgive me. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the recording for just a second uh, and then I'm going to plug this mini plug right here which is the camera out on the task cam into my microphone input on the, on the um, DSLR, on the Nikon. And so then the audio that you will be hearing will be coming from the Rode NTG microphone that's being recorded on a separate card in the task cam but then that audio is being piped out into the DSLR so the audio that you're actually hearing is from the road being reproduced and sent from the task cam into the DSLR so I'm gonna turn off the record okay and if you see me looking over here all the time it's because I've got my uh, articulating uh, LCD monitor uh, from the DSLR turned over here to the side and I'm looking at it making sure I'm still in frame. I know that doesn't make for a good video, but that's the way it goes. Okay, the audio that you're listening to now, I haven't changed any settings. Uh, I've got the uh, audio on the task cam hitting about minus 6 dB. And I've got the camera out setting on the task cam set at about 5. And I have really no way of of monitoring that to tell if that's too hot for the camera or not but I don't think it is 
So uh, it's being popped into the Nikon right now via the Nikon D50, the Nikon, excuse me, the Rode NTG3, which is right here. Um, so what we're listening for is more noise, uh, well, any kind of noise, more than we had when we were just using the camera audio. Okay? So um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the audio from the Tascam and I'm going to put it also on this video and uh, we're going to compare it. Matter of fact, I'll do that right now. Okay, now this audio is just the Tascam and being recorded with the Rode NTG3 and onto the card on the Tascam. So my objective of this test is to see is this audio cleaner than the audio that is being piped into the Nikon. Once again, we're going to switch back to the Nikon audio only. Okay, on one, two, three. Now we're into the Nikon audio that came from the Tascam recorder. So, is there a difference? I guess we're going to find out here when we play them all back. So here's what I learned from our experiment today. Number one, my camera by itself, my Nikon D5100, mic is a little bit noisy. I've never really noticed that before because I've usually just been picking up music and stuff, but when you're when nothing else is on and all you're doing is talking, if you listen real quietly, you can hear a little bit of hiss if it's just the camera. Uh, the purpose of the experiment was to see if the audio was noisy that was coming from the Tascam preamps into the um, camera. And that's what you're listening to right now. And on the previous test that we did, it sounded fantastic, I thought. Uh, no noise, uh, very crisp and clear. And compared to the audio of just the Tascam itself, it was very good. It wasn't the same. It was very good. EQ-wise, it was a little different. And um, the Tascam was more, more crisp, more sterile, perhaps, which is actually the way I like it then I can add ambient sound around it. But I think the two channels mixed together would make a very, very good uh, audio track. So I was concerned because I'd heard one story uh, from True Audio about it interacting with a Canon 5D Mark II and interjecting noise. But when you brought the two apart, it wasn't, so they were thinking it was a ground loop problem. Well, I don't know what their problem was, and it might have been a bad unit, it might have been a ground loop program, problem, it might have been a problem with the Canon, but they said the new units they weren't having any trouble with, and I just wanted to check mine and see how mine compared uh, when using it with my DSLRs, and uh, I give it an A+. I love this recorder. Again, it's a Tascam DR60D, has two XLR preamps, one TRS for the channel three and four. It's got all sorts of outputs. It's got a great headphone output, and uh, it has multiple monitoring uh, uh, choices. You can monitor the main mix, or you can monitor the uh, camera mix, and it's just, uh, it runs on batteries, runs on four AA batteries, or it runs on the AC power. I've used it for several projects and I absolutely love it. For $350, you cannot beat that anywhere. I know Zoom's got a new recorder out, uh, the H6, which looks like an outstanding recorder. It has four XLRs with the capability for another $150 or so, you can have six XLRs. Uh, it's an attachment that hooks on the front. It's a great recorder too and I, I've never tried it but I've never used a Zoom product that wasn't, a Zoom recording product that wasn't stellar. So I'm sure it's great too, but it's also cost another $200 almost, you know. Uh, so it, it's in the $500 range, $150 more or something. So if you're on a limited budget and you want the absolute best field recorder you can buy for the money, it would have to be either this Tascam for $350 
or the Zoom H6 for the uh, $500, I'm sure. So uh, I've already got the Tascam. The H6 wasn't out yet, so I'm probably going to stick with it. If I need anything larger, I'll probably just rent it. But uh, I love the recorder, and I appreciate you guys listening in, and I hope this has helped you get an idea of how the Tascam works and what a quality product it is. Thank you so much. See you next time.